Syrian rebels and opposition groups are rejecting Russia's proposed peace talks to end that country's civil war. They accuse Moscow of failing to pressure its ally, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, to end the conflict. This comes as the ISIS terror group fights for its existence in the face of U.S. US efforts to exterminate it. Lucas Tomlinson has more tonight from the Pentagon. The U.S. military says ISIS has lost 98 percent of the territory it once held. Half those losses coming since President Trump took office. Critics say the Obama administration micromanaged the war. The rules of engagement under the Obama administration were onerous. I mean, what are we doing having individual target determination being conducted in the White House? which took, in some cases, weeks and weeks. But a former senior director for counterterrorism in the Obama White House pushed back. On any criticism, the former president didn't do enough to crush ISIS. Joshua Geltzer is the author of a book on al-Qaeda. This was a top priority. There was a recognition that safe haven for terrorist groups can mean terrorist plots that extend not just into the region, but into Europe or conceivably into the United States. Today, the latest American intelligence estimate says less than 1,000 ISIS fighters remain in Iraq and Syria, down from a peak of up to 45,000 just two years ago. U.S. officials credit nearly 30,000 U.S.-led coalition airstrikes and regional partners on the ground, killing more than 70,000 jihadists, but a few thousand have returned home. The remaining ISIS strongholds concentrated in a small area along the Syria and Iraq border. ISIS at one point controlled an area the size of Ohio. While ISIS has been largely defeated, it continues to call on followers around the world to conduct terror attacks during the holidays, with a new message sprouting up just today and a suicide attack in Kabul on Christmas with ISIS claiming responsibility. It's part of the terror group's effort to expand its influence into Africa and Afghanistan. The U.S. ambassador of the anti-ISIS coalition warns not to expect a complete defeat anytime soon. ISIS became a brand on a lot of pre-existing terrorist groups. Uh, you, we've seen this in the Sinai, for example. They uh, start to raise the flag of ISIS, mainly to recruit foreign fighters and, and other things. But the former head of U.S. Air Force Intelligence thinks the war should have ended much sooner. What the Trump administration did um, was allow execution decisions to be made in accordance with the guidance that he provided. We could have accomplished our objectives through the use of overwhelming power in three months, not three years. General Deptula says ISIS-held oil supplies were not targeted for 15 months beginning in 2014 for fear of collateral damage, giving the terror group an additional $15 million in revenue. Mike? Lucas Tomlinson live at the Pentagon. Lucas, thanks a lot. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America.